Jersey. Al estilo de Martín. Que les guste y que disfruten de Deportivo Alaves is one of the smaller clubs in La Liga, but still, it is one of the 28 Spanish sides to have taken part in European competition, having finished runners-up in the UEFA Cup, now known as the Europa League. The city of Vitoria, where Alaves play, is the capital of the Basque country and the home of the Basque government. The city sits at a strategic point between Spain and the rest of Europe, making it important in all areas concerning business and culture. Vitoria is in the south of the Basque country, in the north of Spain, and has a population of a quarter of a million. In 2012, it was recognized as a European green capital, a prize awarded to cities that have made progress in environmental matters in a bid to protect its citizens. Victoria Airport is just 12 kilometers from the Mendizorosa Stadium. However, very few planes fly into this airport. There is a high-speed train station and a large bus station, and you can get to the stadium by tram or on foot from the center of the city. One of the best options when looking where to stay in Vitoria is the Jardines de Uleta Hotel that is just 800 meters from Mendizorosa. This hotel only has modern suites, available at a cost of 112 euros per night. A unique place to stay is the Palacio de Loriaga, that is 5.8 kilometers from the stadium. This is a 16th century home that has been restored as a hotel, and the rooms start from 60 euros per night. Another alternative is the Hotel Abajaz, that is just two kilometers from the ground in the center of town, where rooms start from 70 euros. One of the main reasons to visit our city is the medieval quarter that dates from the 14th century and the Gothic area that was built in the 15th century. This part tells us a lot about not just this city, but also about the whole of Europe. Vitoria is a green and sustainable city with more than 5 million square meters of green belt land, which means that each person from Vitoria has about 20 square meters each of countryside. We also have to talk about our Bidegoris. These are our network of bike lanes which span 158 kilometers. For a city the size of Vitoria, it's pretty impressive. It is one of the largest networks in Spain and makes Vitoria a city that keeps moving in a healthy way. It's also a city that has a lot of cultural and sporting activities which help give it a high standard of living. It is a very safe and clean city that boasts a high number of public facilities that few other cities can enjoy. I'm Ibai Gomez and I play for Deportivo Alaves. I'm here to take you around the very compact city of Vitoria. Here we are in the Virgen Blanca Square. And this is the monument to the Battle of Vitoria. And it's from here where the Celedon is sent up into the air to celebrate the start of the city's fiestas.
This is the figure of Celedon, and this is the big balcony where Deportivo Alaves and Basconia celebrate their titles when they've won a trophy. For example, two seasons ago when we were promoted, while last season we were close to celebrating as we reached the final of the Copa del Rey, but it wasn't to be. But this square is full of people celebrating. So here we have the Cathedral of Santa Maria, which is known by the locals as the Old Cathedral, with the city of Vitoria being built around the cathedral. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And another thing to mention is the writer Ken Follett based his book The Pillars of the Earth on this cathedral. To continue with our tour of Vitoria, I've brought you to the Escoriaza Esquivel Palace, one of the most important buildings in the city, and one for you to enjoy as well. We're in La Florida Park, which links with La Senda Boulevard, which is definitely one of the standout parts of the city. Lots of people ride bikes here down the three-kilometer-long boulevard, which you can also walk down, and which brings you to the Armentia Forest, one of the greenest parts of the city. We can also see the house of Cordon in Calle Cuchilleria, where Pope Adriano VI used to live, and where he was actually named as Pope. The walled area of the city denotes where the city stood during the wars between the Kingdom of Navarra and Castilla, and it is now another spectacular part of our medieval quarter, especially Bulleria Square, that houses an amazing and large house from the 5th century named the Portalon. Hi, I'm Boyan Kikic, an Alaves player, and I'm going to take you to eat some pinchos, which is the best thing you can do in Vitoria. The first place is Bar Tolonio. Here we are in Bar Tolonio, one of the most typical bars in Vitoria. It's won many gastronomic prizes in the Basque country. Now I'm going to ask for my first pincho, crabs washed down with a glass of local wine. To continue with the pinchos, I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places. This is Bar Jauja, and I'm going to eat a small cheese and ham sandwich here. Hi, could you give me a ham and cheese sandwich and a small beer? Here in Vitoria, a zurito is a small beer. Here we're in the city market, where we have an area of gastro bars full of more exquisite food. Here, my favorite place is Bar Chiqui, where I usually get a slice of Spanish omelette. Here, in my opinion, 
It's the best in town. Hi, can I have um, a slice of Spanish omelette, please, and some white wine? And Spanish omelette. Anyone who comes to Vitoria must try our food. Here you can eat very well in top Michelin star restaurants that have prices suitable for all. I had a stage in my life where I was in charge of Deportivo Alaves, and it was an incredible time. We were in the third division when I first started, and we went all the way to the UEFA Cup final, which we lost 5-4 to Liverpool in Dortmund. As all the big restaurants in the world know, here we were the first to organize a big cookery show back in 1984 that all the big, great chefs have since come to. Rubuchon, Gerard, Brass, all the big ones have been here, including an unknown Ferran Adria, and it was here in Vitoria where he first got his chance. Martin Beresetegui came along as well. It was the start of big things for Spanish gastronomy. Well, we're now going to prepare a steak tartar, a traditional dish, of course. And then pass it to the client's table, where we finish it off according to each client's requirements. Here, both fish and meat dishes are typical. Now we're going to grill a nice, big Basque steak. We're going to get it ready just before we place it on the grill. Now we have a medium steak and we're ready to serve it. A little bit of salt and off we go to Mendi Zorroza to see Alaves. If you come by here first, you'll eat a great steak that will give you the energy to cheer on Alaves. Au pa Alaves! In addition to the pincho soups, good steak, you could wash it all down with a good La Rioja Alavesa wine. La Rioja Alavesa region is very close to Vitoria Castell. Here we have the best truffles and handmade chocolate sweets in the world. Vitoria Castell is renowned for its truffles. The Goya truffles and handmade chocolates are the perfect way to end a meal that started with some pinchos. It's a great way to end the meal on a full stomach and it leaves a perfect taste in the mouth. It's a great advert for the city.
Alaves is good for the city. It offers plenty more than just passion, excitement and a special match day feeling. For me, it's a way of putting Vitoria and the Alaves region on the map, not just on a national level, but also on an international scale. We have a stadium that away fans and fans like to visit. It's small and a compact ground. It's great for watching football. Our stadium is quite similar to the stadiums that you get in England, for example. Our city and our fans always offer a warm welcome. We always show plenty of respect to. It's a small club with plenty of history. We're going to celebrate our 97th anniversary soon, so we're not that far off the century mark. For us, there's been plenty of highs and lows along the years. In recent years, we've won promotion to the Primera División. Over 30,000 people got together to celebrate. If you take into account how many people actually live here, that's a lot of people. It's like a big family. There are a lot of people at the club, but there are even more now since winning promotion to the Primera División. There are a lot of people at the club who've been working here for many years. There's a close bond between the players and the people who work at the club. I found a new family at Deportivo Alaves. I've met a lot of people here, from the owners to those in reception, who make life easy for everyone who works here. Everyone has an important part to play, and the great atmosphere at work makes it very easy for everyone to do their job well. From the very first day a player arrives here, he's made to feel at home by the club and the city. The players have a great rapport with the fans and they can identify themselves with the club and the city. People settle down here very quickly. They're made to feel at home by the locals and also by a city which is very respectful to its sportsmen.
preparamos todo. We get everything ready here at Mendy Farotha. We get all the kits, boots and other stuff prepared. We also check that the training balls are ready for the start of training. We then wait nearby. We help the manager during training if he requires help. When it's over, we collect everything and then prepare for the next day. They're very good people, very down to earth. On TV, they may come across differently, but when you spend time with them, you see that they're very normal, humble people. <laughs> he's a hard worker, a great person, he's always happy. That attitude really helps us. They're special to us, as they're with us all the time. We spend every day together. I spend more time with them than I do with my wife. <laughs> they're special people who work hard, don't get seen a lot, but they're very important. <laughs> Any anecdotes? Very few. And they're not very interesting. All of them have their personal preferences before playing. The only thing they ask from you is that their match day kit is ready so that they can give 120% out on the pitch. At the start of the season, people are a bit set in their ways until everyone gets to know one another. As soon as that happens, everything becomes much easier. It all becomes much easier. This belongs to him, this belongs to that player over there. It's a small club which is growing little by little every day. If it wasn't for the family environment here and how united everyone is, this club wouldn't be a success. Esto no sale adelante. The Deportivo Alaves fans are the most important parts of the club. Regardless of how the club are doing, the fans are always there. It might not be for me to say this, but I believe they are one of, if not the best supporters in Spain. Always before every game at Mendy Torroza, the fans all meet up on this street. It's how we like to do things here. It's something we'll keep on doing, whether we're in the Segunda Bay Division, Segunda Division or Primera Division. instrument called a tricky trisha. What least concerns us is the final results. We come here to enjoy the game, to cheer and to sing. Sometimes Alaves comes before my girlfriend. For example, she has to change her holidays when Alaves are playing. There are times when she gets angry, but that's how it is. 